Hi there, this is Trent Meissenheimer with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up in Mineral Fork. I'm at about 8,300 feet in elevation on a northeast aspect. Um, total snow pit depth here is about 120 centimeters, not too bad. Um, however, what I'm noticing just that stands out to me in the pit right off the bat is um, this is that rain crust uh, from a little while back about uh, just before Christmas and uh, right underneath it it is it is quite faceted I'm pretty surprised at uh, how faceted it is right underneath that and then there's also a couple other layers of faceted snow in here definitely a more layered snowpack than what we're seeing uh, up more towards uh, you know Alta and Brighton in the central cottonwoods and then obviously our uh, Suspicions about the old snow surface right here. You can see there was obviously a layer buried here as well. Um, we have about uh, oh four inches of new snow back here in Mineral Fork so far. So I'm going to do an ECT test and a couple compression tests and see if uh, anything is reactive. So extended column test negative. Uh, no propagation. Uh, this is a pretty stout rain crust, but you know, it is breaking down. But again, really surprised at how loose the snow is uh, right below the crust. And then actually, it's uh, fairly faceted, even just right here. You can see, um, you can see just how faceted the snowpack is. Uh, definitely some pretty loose, loose grains just right. Uh, you know, 15 inches down from the surface. So, unfortunately not the greatest looking snow pit. Cool, so another extended column test. No propagation, again, across this weak layer. That's a really good sign. Uh, could mean this layer is gaining strength. Uh, could be that we just don't have enough snow on it yet to really create the energy there in the snowpack or the strain on it. Um, Kind of hard saying, but you know, people aren't triggering avalanches, which is a good thing. Uh, and we're not seeing propagation in our snow pit test. So for right now, these layers seem to be fairly dormant. Um, you know, I would suspect if we really pile up a lot of snow in a hurry, you know, this could definitely be a layer that breaks down to. But for right now, it seems, seems pretty stable. We do have a, a little bit of a buried layer here. Um, but again, there's no slab on top of it. That could be a whole different ball game, maybe more of a moderate avalanche danger if you worked your way up into some higher terrain where the wind started kicking up and forming a little bit more uh, sensitive uh, drifts and uh, wind slabs up off the lee sides of those ridge lines. But uh, other than that, great skiing uh, and riding conditions here in the Wasatch Range.